Hello students and welcome back to our virtual classroom. My name is Teacher Bright. How are you? I'm sure you're okay. For today's lesson, we're going to be taking it from Everybody Up Student Book. When you get back to school, you're going to have this book. So I'm sure you know the Everybody Up book series because you've been using it since P4. Am I right? Yep. So, a little bit bigger. All right. Yay! Welcome! Before we go to our lesson, let's learn for some attention grabbers. This will test your listening skill, and we will use this as we go along with our class with Teacher Brian. Are you ready? I'm sure you are. Dun -dun -dun. First up, when I say all set, you say you bet. Let's have an example. All set. Very good. One more time. All set. All set. All set. You bet. You bet. That's right. All set. You bet. Very good. Now, let's go to the next one. Hmm. If I ask you if you understood something, Kao Jemai, like crystal, your answer, clear. And you do like this. So I'll say crystal, clear. All right? Crystal, clear. Crystal, clear. <laughs> Very good. Now let's move on to the next one. <gasps> what can you see? Eyes. So one, two, three, eyes on me. You will answer. One, two, three, eyes on you. Or eyes on you. And look at the teacher. So for example, you're busy on your phone. I will say, everybody, one, two, three, eyes on me. <gasps> one, two, three, eyes on you. And then you look at me. Okay, you get that? Let's try. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on you. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Ready to rock? Your answer? Ready to roll. Ready to rock? Ready to roll. Rock and roll. Uh, 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 um, mm. Hands on top. I'm sure you know this. That means stop. Very good. Hands on top. That means stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop talking. Stop going around. Stop being busy. And pay attention to the teacher. So that's it. Next one. Mmm, ouch. No, I will not do it to you. Just attention grabber, ready to listen, ready to learn. Okay, let's start. Class, ready to listen, ready to learn. Very good. One more time. Ready to listen, ready to learn. Okay, hands on top. That means stop. All set? You bet. Very good. You can remember. Crystal? Clear. Good job. Crystal, crystal? Clear, clear. Next. Ooh, Harry Potter again. Hocus, hocus. So when I say class, hocus, pocus. Everybody focus. So focus on what you're doing, meaning when you have to read, focus reading. When you have to do a group activity, focus there. Okay? Hocus focus. Everybody focus. Hands on top. That means stop. Very good. 
One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on you. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Oh my gosh, this makes me so hungry. What is this? Right, macaroni and cheese. So when I say macaroni and cheese, everybody freeze. So if you're busy like talking to your friend, yeah, oh, macaroni and cheese, everybody freeze. So stop moving. Don't move. Okay? Hands on top. That means stop. All set? You bet. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on you. All right. Okay, so these are our attention grabbers. I will try to repeat this as often as I can so you can remember them easily. Okay, so macaroni and cheese, everybody freeze. Hocus pocus, everybody focus. Ready to listen? Ready to learn. Hands on top. That means stop. Ready to rock. Ready to roll. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on you. Crystal? Clear. Fujimai? Kao Chai now. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Crystal? Clear. But what if you don't understand? Michael Jai. Crystal? Not clear. Okay, so that's okay to say not clear. If it is not clear to you, and Teacher Bri will help you understand it. Next one. All set. You bet. Okay, good job. Okay, so right now, let's move on to our Everybody Up book. And it's our first time to use the book, right? So, of course, we will start with Welcome. I have here four stories for you from four kids. I'm sure you know this, kids, because you have been talking and reading about them since before. And what they're saying here has been their activities since P4 and P5. So let's see if you can remember some of them. So let's start with this first girl. So I will read it first and then you follow with your eyes. And after that, we will read them all together and make sure you understand it because I will have questions right after. All set? You bet. Very good. Let's begin. Teach your bride first and then you listen. My new sandals are great. They were the most comfortable ones in the store. But they weren't the most expensive. My mom was happy about that. Which of your shoes are the most comfortable? Okay, so there we go. Now this time, let's read them together. <clears throat> See my cursor, the pointer? Okay, so let's read it slower. Are you ready? Ready to rock? Ready to roll. Let's go. My new sandals are great. They were the most comfortable ones in the store. But they weren't the most expensive. My mom was happy about that. Which of your shoes are the most comfortable? Very good. Now let's go over some words. New sandals. Comfortable. Weren't. Expensive. Expensive. Which of your shoes are the most comfortable? Very good. 
Are you ready to answer some questions? Why did she like her sandals? So you can type and send your answers on our chat box. Why did she like her sandals? Okay, so because they were great. Okay, what else? They were comfortable and they were not expensive. So if it's not expensive, meaning it's cheap. Yes. Next question. Where did you buy it? Hmm. Come on, send your answers in the chat. Where did she buy her sandals? Time is up. The answer is in the store. What's the name of the store? I don't know. Maybe it's Robinson's? Bata? Adidas? Nike? Central? Well, she just said store. Maybe a store at Wadorot Market. Who knows? Oh, is she from Chiang Mai? Why Wadorot? Okay, question number three. Why was her mom happy about it? Why was her mom happy about it? My mom was happy about that. Why? Send in your answers. And the correct answer is because they weren't the most expensive. Of course, our parents will always be happy if they buy the cheapest things for us. Okay, so did you get all three answers? Very good. Now I have here some bonus for you. So what are these? Right, these are her sandals. And what can you say about her sandals? They were great, they were most comfortable, and not the most expensive. Okay, let's read. Great. Most comfortable. Not the most expensive. Very good. So let's move on to the next picture. Oh, now I have a question for you. Which of your shoes are the most comfortable? I'm sure you have your PRC shoes, you have your sneakers, or trainers, or rubber shoes, and then you have your sandals as well. So which of your shoes are the most comfortable? Most comfortable, pewa, sabay piso? I'm not sure. <laughs> your Thai teacher can help you with that. Okay, so you can type your answers on the chat box so we will know what's your most comfortable shoes. Now let's move on to our second character. Here he is. Hmm. Now Teacher Bry will read first and then we will read together after. Ready to rock? Ready to roll. I always take a shower and wash my hair before I go to bed. Sometimes I check my calendar too. Oh look! The class party is tomorrow! I'll take fruit juice, but I won't take soda. My classmates don't want soda. Which do you like better, juice or soda? Hmm, okay. So this time, let's read it together. You can follow my cursor. I always take a shower and wash my hair before I go to bed. Sometimes I check my calendar too. Oh, look! The class party is tomorrow. I'll take fruit juice, but I won't take soda. My classmates don't want soda. Which do you like better, 
juice or soda? Good job! Now let's go over some words and read them again. Always. Don't forget the s sound. Always. Okay, very good. Shower. Wash. Very good. Sometimes. Fruit juice. Classmates. Which do you like better, juice or soda? Very good. So, do you know who your classmates are? Your friends or the people inside your classroom are your classmates. For example, you are in 6 slash 1. All students in 6 slash 1 are your classmates. Did you understand what he said? Hmm, are you sure? I have some questions and let's see. What does he do before sleeping? What does he do before sleeping? Now, type in your answer in the chat box and let's see if you get it right. <laughs> Time is up. So, what does he do before sleeping? He always take a shower and wash his hair before sleeping. If you copy this sentence, that is also correct. So, he washes his, his hair and takes a shower before going to bed or before sleeping. Question number two. What's the event tomorrow? What's the event or what will happen tomorrow? Send in your answers. Time is up. Correct answer. There's going to be a class party tomorrow. So if you put class party, that is correct. Now let's go to the last question. Oops. Will he bring Coca-Cola or tomato juice? Mm hmm that's very easy. <laughs> Correct answer. He will bring fruit juice. Why? Because he said his classmates don't like soda. So the correct answer is tomato juice. Some want to say tomato. Some wants to say tomato. They are both correct. So Coca-Cola is an example of a soda and his classmates don't like it. Tomato juice is an example of fruit juice. Well, yeah, tomato, tomato is a fruit. All right, I have here some bonus questions. What's on your calendar this month? So please take a look. What are your plans or what are the events that will happen in your life this month? And finally, which do you like better, juice or soda? Tell us on the chat box, which do you like better? Chop pigua, juice or soda? Go ahead. Okay, so we got to know our character number two. Let's move on to our next character. Hmm, I wonder who this is and what he's gonna talk about us. Are you ready to listen? I'm sure you are. I've just turned off my computer. I've already done research for my report, uploaded some photos, and written some emails. I'm tired. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I can sleep late. What do you do on the computer? 
Do you sleep late on the weekends? Okay, so there you go. This time, let's read it together. You and me. <clears throat> or you and him. I've just turned off my computer. I've already done research for my report, uploaded some photos, and written some emails. I'm tired. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I can sleep late. What do you do on the computer? Do you sleep late on the weekends? Very good. Sounds like you can read very well. Let's go over some difficult words one by one. I've. I've. Very good. So I've is a combination of two words, which are I and have. I have. I've turned off, turned off, already, already, research, research, uploaded, uploaded. Photos, photos, written, written, what do you do on the computer? Do you sleep late on the weekends? Okay, good job. Now it's time to answer some questions. What did he do on his computer? Type in your answer. You can just give one answer, so it will be faster. But if you can give three or all, that's okay. Okay, time is up. Correct answer is... He did some research. He uploaded photos and wrote emails, okay? So if you just put research, upload photos, write emails, that's also okay. Question number two. What did he feel after doing those? What did he feel after doing research, uploading photos, and writing emails? Right. He felt tired. <sighs> and last question. Why can he sleep late tonight? Last question. Why can he sleep late tonight? Right. Because tomorrow is Saturday. Good job. Okay. So now he has a question for you. What do you do on the computer? Do you sleep late on weekends? Tell us about your answer on the chat box. Also, I have a question for you. What did he do before he turned off his computer? Researched, uploaded photos, and wrote emails. Very good. Now let's go to our fourth person. Wow, this looks beautiful. Now I will read first, listen, and then we will read together later. All set, you bet. I've been to New Zealand. My family and I went there on vacation last summer. I learned how to dive. First, I felt nervous, but then I felt confident. Now, I like scuba diving. Did you learn how to do something on your vacation? All right, now let's read it together with her. We can do it slower. I've been to New Zealand. My family and I went there on vacation 
last summer. I learned how to dive. First, I felt nervous, but then I felt confident. Now, I like scuba diving. Did you learn how to do something on your vacation? Okay, very good. You can now read very well. Did you understand what she said? And did you understand what you read? Now it's time for you to answer these questions. <clears throat> Where did she go with her family? Five seconds. Thank you. Some of you got it right. New Zealand. So they went to New Zealand. Have you been to New Zealand? Raise your hand. If you have been to New Zealand, Kui Pai New Zealand Mai, Kui Pai Patet New Zealand Mai. Very nice. I have not been to New Zealand. So lucky you. Next question. When? When did they go there? When did they go to New Zealand? Right. They went there last summer. So I'm not sure if it's the summer of Thailand or the summer of New Zealand because we have different summertime. Oh, probably during her summertime. Right. Now, last question. What did she feel nervous about? So she said she felt nervous on something. What did she feel nervous about? It's right there. It's right there. Yeah? Yeah? Diving or scuba diving. She said at first I felt nervous, but eventually she liked it. Okay, so this is scuba diving. Now, she has a question for you. Did you learn how to do something on your vacation? You just stayed at home for a very long time. February, March, April, May, that's four months. Did you learn to do something? Something new, something different that you have never done before? Tell us in the chat box. I wonder what they are. It does sound very interesting. Now here at the picture, what does she feel about scuba diving? Right, so she felt nervous, but only at first. And then eventually, she felt confident after that. Now she likes scuba diving. Now we have just read four stories from four people who will be here in our Everybody Up book. I think we will meet them along the way as we study the book, okay? And then we will get to know them more and then know their names. So this is our class for today. Welcome to P6 and always remember to stay safe wherever you are. Do we look the same? Stay safe, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.